Look, look, looky here, looky here. Look what I made. The, I'm, I'm, yep. Pretty stoked on this, guys. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Roll it, roll it. So, hello, hi, I'm Shmood. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how there's this wild chain of events where because I put out a project, I've been able to collab with so many talent artists and a bunch of different projects that led into another. One blew up, a famous actor saw that, DM'd me, asked me to make a rug for him, and that's what this video is. I'm making that rug, I'm gonna show you all that went into it, and then of course, I asked another artist to collab with me on this rug just to keep it going. Let's take it from the beginning. So to start the chain of events, I'm making art. I'm like, let's just make a YouTube channel, see what happens. Do that, start throwing my art out there, try to keep it super chill, super fun. And I guess the vibe was very, very similar to someone named Curry Goat. So people kept on commenting in the comments, hey, do something with Curry Goat, do something with Curry Goat, do something with Denzel. So I reached out, I'm like, Denzel, my guy, I love you, let's do something together. I'm like, we got to, we have to do something together. We do like a virtual collab. It was super fun. I'm like, we gotta do it again. So he comes over to Utah. We make a bunch of stuff. One of them, which was the pole part rug, which is a whole story on itself. But then he also pitched this idea for another rug that had like a tiger and the yarn was all warpy. So I put that one out. I make a reel about it. And then I kept on getting comments at Bryce Wong, at Bryce Wong. Like every other comment was that. So I check out, I click at see what Bryce Wong. Super talented artist. Immediately, I'm in love with him. I, I think I immediately, I DM'd him. I'm like, hey, we, what's, what's, what's up? Let's do something together. So I flew out to him. It was wild how not just our styles matched, but our brain matched. And we ended up making a bunch of rad stuff, which then turned into another pull apart rug with like the SpongeBob. And that one blew up, which brings in our boy, Jacob Battleon. I get a DM from the last person I expect. Guys, like, this is so random. For someone upon your Instagram, I need to commission a rug. You might know him from a little thing, oh, I don't know, Spider-Man? Jacob Battleon. And I was gassed. Oh my God, I gotta do this. I saw that his, his handle was like, life is Aloha. And when I asked him what he wanted to do, he said he wanted to do like a biscuit flower with a, a shotgun inside. I switched that around because it's gonna be it's gonna be weird. But I'm like, how do I get this even further? Like, how do we keep this chain going? Then I reach out to my boy Jack out in Hawaii. Love him to death. I've done stuff with him before, but it, it just, I'm like, this just matches so well to too perfect. Pitch him idea, he's like in. He designs me some stuff. Pitch that back to Jacob. He's in, we're golden. Then I got a nice excuse to go out to Hawaii, work with my good friend, Jack. This is Jack. Yo, Jack has the coolest mustache, bro. He's kind of hard as hell, bro. Like, nicest, smiliest guy I know. Oh, this is very cinematic. <laughs> very cinematic. So Jack designed this up. I want to make a couple little tweaks. I wanted it to be like a little 3D so that it could have like this inside part, fleshy part, so I'd have something to attach the strings to later. And Jack was a sweet boy, nice enough to let me use his tufting frame. Look at it in all its glory. Oh, I'll just put it here. Well, maybe I'll put it there. We'll see. Just hung up the monk's cloth, made sure it was nice and tight. After I got it done, Jack gave me some gloves to protect my fingies. Perfect, perfect, perfect timing, sweetheart. We just projected up. He had a close throw projector. It was so rad. The projector was like right by my feet. Anyways, uh, just with that, just began to tuft away. I started with the black, just doing like one line at a time. Switch back and make sure it looked nice and good. I was really worried about the hibiscus leaves because if you can see, they're flames. Oh look. Wait, I'm Jack, dude. I'm Jack. Run Jack. home, Jack. I'm <laughs> But the, 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 what was I saying? The petals on the flowers are flames, and so, like, trying to need that detail was going to be really hard. But I figured I would just get as tight as I can, only break the gun a couple times. Sorry, Jack. And, yeah. From there, I think, I don't know, hoping that I can clean up all this stuff with my razor. And by razor, I mean buzzer. And by buzzer, I mean shaver. And by shaver, I mean that one buzzy thing that cuts the, the yarn down and shapes those things. So just watching some Netflix. That show was pretty funny. I watched the entire series while I was doing this and got it all done. Clipped up and trimmed up as much as I could before I put on the rug glue. With that, used Jack's rug glue. Really, the boy hooked it up. He used all of his stuff, sweetheart. Just got all the rug glue on there. And. So it's so sticky that I feel like it goes onto itself. 
it starts like pulling the yarn out. So hopefully I didn't mess it up. I cut it out and I was in such a hurry to drop Marshall off the airport that I just cut it out without filming it. And I don't know, but why it's so sticky, I think I might get some sand in here. Yeah, could be fun. So this, this is how it's looking. I doubled up the black edges here, made it a little thicker, which looks good. Double up the pink, and then the white outline of the flower. I'm gonna see what I can do back home to trim it down and make some of this image pop more. I might even take a, a note from Jack and spray paint some of it to give some depth. I wish, I wish this would have been like all cut out and shaped so it looked nice. But saw the sticky stuff so I could like go graffiti it somewhere. Hmm. I might have to do that. Yeah. I mean, it's not gonna be sticky anymore. It's caked in sand. Kinda cool. All right, we'll just take it home now. So huge thanks to this sweetie. Um, it's all thanks to her for a lot of my growth um, with my business. This is all due because of her. She has done a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that makes it so I can just relax here on this beach. She's also just so pretty, no matter what she uh, I mean, no matter what she's wearing, no matter what template, always just so cute. She's there for me 24 seven, if I have any questions, I can just roll over in the middle of the night, look at her and, and get all the answers I need. And you know, she's so inexpensive and that's why I recommend her to all my friends because of how great she is, my friends love her. Oh, this is sweet, sweet square space. Um, yeah, no, uh, really I've been with them for 10 years. So here's to the last 10 years and hopefully uh, 10 years more to come. They've made it so easy to grow my business and create a business online. And thanks to their templates and how flexible the templates are. I mean, I could start a business for anything I have an idea for. And because the templates are so, so, so cute, no matter what, it looks good, looks professional, and I can customize it so that it's on brand for me all the time. And then they have award-winning 24 seven customer service. So any questions you have, you got answers. So turn your ideas into reality. You can start your free trial today by going to the link in the description of the video. And don't forget coupon code SHMOOD to get 10% off your first purchase. I was back in the studio, just felt cooped up. Maybe it's because I don't have any windows in there, but I'm like, let's move this outside. Just went to a nice hill and just got my little bower, bower, bowery, my battery back so that I could use the buzzer and trim away at this rug and made it so much more enjoyable. It's wild how much just like your surroundings will affect your mood. And your mood usually affects your project. So just trying to bring all of that love and joy into this project. Went back to the studio to touch it up. Friends were there, freaking sweethearts and that also helped my mood. It's wild how much better I work when I'm with friends or my dog, apparently. So I cleaned it up with the vacuum. With that all cleaned up, I just went back through with the razor, sharpened up some more of the edges, cleaned it up one more time, then used some scissors to cut it up and trim around the outside. And with the outside, I just cut it like an inch around the whole entire thing and then use hot glue to bend the edges up around it. Wanted to make sure it looked good, so I tested it, make sure it lined up. It looks like it's gonna work. So we're good to move on. Just trimmed all around the outside to make it look nice and clean. Took some skizzers. Do some final touches, make sure those flames showed up really well. It's gonna pull apart real nice, so I'm just gonna figure out where I'm going to do the pull apart parts, pull apart yarn, 
and just use a needle to go through the one side and that is the side that it's going to pull through and the other side i'm going to glue it to it glue it to it so did that and found all the places i was going to do it i then remember the, the thing i thought about with doing jack her using jack's uh trade spray paint to see if i can't get a little bit of dimension into this hopefully i don't ruin it but we're gonna tape off as much as we can so tape off that hand protect it then with just some black spray paint just hit the very edge to hopefully make this have some depth so it looks like the flower is actually inside that hand and yeah i think it looked pretty good it was kind of looked kind of just messy so i cleaned up some of the spots overall i'm actually kind of stuck with how that looked so with all the yarn in place just have to glue it to the other side I went through so much hot glue, it was wild. Only burnt my hands a couple times. Cut off all the excess. Made sure once again that my fingers could get burnt. I am human. Um, pulled on through and test her out yeah looks like it's gonna work well so let's just clean it up clean up the back I just have this cloth so I just traced around the outside of each of those pieces and cut it out We're gonna glue that to the back side of that. But before we do, I thought it'd be cool to add rivets for the pull apart parts, for the pull out parts. I love riveting pull outs. What? Um, what? So I just marked where they came out and then I'm gonna cut little holes. Bing bong boom. Put a piece on the front side, make sure that it's going to be able to fit through. It didn't, so I had to cut a little bit bigger. Fits through, put on the back piece. And hit it with a hammer. It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So got all those in place, bing bong boom. Now to glue it. So much super glue. And by super glue, I mean hot glue. So with all glued, I just trimmed up the outside and then to hide how shitty of a cut job I did, I just had some ribbon. I just glued on the edge. I was actually really stoked with how this turned out. I've never done this before. I've never cleaned up my edges like this. But I figured this is also the first rug I've made for someone. Is that real? I think so. And so I'm like, we, we got to make it nice and pretty. Cleaned up the ex excess, the extra. And there we go. Got herself a nice pull apart rug. Turn it on the back side, easy to reset and it looks pretty. And yeah. We 
with the reset we can pull again nice little close-up of the details Really stoked with how this turned out. I hope Jacob loves it. Uh, last thing I need to do, I just need to sign it and I'll ship it out. And ooh, look at those little details. Um, yeah, I just sent this out to him yesterday, two days ago. And so hopefully I'll get a response from him soon and I'll probably share that on Instagram in like a story or something. So, cool. All right, so be sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell notification. And yeah, 